स्टूडेंट्स हेलो एवरीवन स्टूडेंट्स एंड माय डियर गार्जियंस व्हाई गार्जियंस बिकॉज आई एम आल्सो इंसिस्टिंग दोज गार्जियंस टुडे हु आर ट्राइंग टू मेक देयर चिल्ड्रन प्रिपेयर फॉर द टॉप मोस्ट एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज आईएएस पीसीएस पैन इंडिया सो आई वेलकम यू हियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑन दिस ओ एस प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एनिलाइज the last examination which was held in january that is for 2021 ies mains analysis of the english literature exam which is very much needed by the examination by the people by the students who are preparing pan india so before i start this exam sorry before i start this session to analyze the paper i would just like to say a few words that in the past you know 25 years of my career of teaching ies pcs ugc net and all the top verticals of english literature examination i have taught numberless students lakhs of students who actually came with the dream with a passion to become uh, civilians to become officers to become professors and those who wanted to qualify the ies mains in english literature came and they put their strenuous efforts into studies and always remember that good guidance technical assistance proper study material test series and one to one guidance is very much needed to qualify this examination and one thing which is of utmost importance students which i will again repeat here that complete your mains uh, syllabus much in advance before you complete your pre examination because recently few of the students qualified ies pre but failed utterly in the mains examination and i kept them saying that please prepare for mains first but there are many students who listen to my advice but there are many students who even don't listen to this advice which is very very important students and this is also very important that english literature since ages has fascinated one and all and as an academic discipline it has swelled for innumerable students the world over students even take the study material and my study material is so pin pointed so syllabus oriented so exam oriented that the students are blessed to get if in case they are not able to take the classes and before i start i would just like to tell those students who are who are who, who are trying their best to perform in the 2022 exam as well as 2023 examination so for those 2022 examination i would advise them to take the test series to join the test series or to join the new batch which has already started 10 days before so they they can complete the entire course syllabus in the coming 4 to 5 months fine always remember one thing students that imagination is more important than knowledge you have to imagine you have to feel that you are going to become a professor a academician or a, you know the best officer of the country and i believe really i believe that students who aim for a vision of becoming countries diplomats and great officers must possess that inborn talent and that inborn talent of having being of great thinkers and makers and yes you should have a beautiful flair in writing skills so in this long run i have received innumerable queries who are preparing for this competitive exam and yes believe me this english literature subject is a very glamorous subject and those who have that flair in writing can succeed if they get the best guidance yes now i will talk more about this ias examination once i cover up uh, this uh, question paper uh, for you nandini jha good afternoon aarti singh uh, good afternoon so students who are live here with me may come at the platform so that i may be able to know that yes you are enjoying this session this will be a very important and a very good session for all the ias bihar public service commission students up psc students west bengal psc students because all these batches are running through the application of oisn academy
and my dear students of UGC net also should see because English literature is actually the same you will actually get something and there may be many students of UGC net who must be planning that yes they have to also prepare for the PCS or the IS examination so in front of me there is the examination paper the latest paper of 2021 and you must be all knowing the the details of this paper first of all there are to have to write the short answers and that too the answers should be in 150 words fine now the first question which has been asked in this paper is explain see you can you can see on the screen board also explain how the theater in the elizabethan period was the focal point of the age now always remember that you have to understand the question very well I have been analyzing the paper, I have been checking the paper of the students who solve the answers and they send me through PDFs. But what happens that sometimes the students, they understand the question but while writing, they mismatch it. Means ki samaj kuch aur rahe hai, lik aur kuch diya. So read the question two to three times and then try to understand ki unho ne poochha kya hai. For example, how the theater in the Elizabethan period Elizabethan period mein jo theater ka part hai wo kitna focal point tha age mein so it is very much true that yes theater and the drama was the main focal point Elizabethan age is known for drama and the best dramatist of that age were produced in the Elizabethan age that is why it is also known as the golden age of that period so to sum up I would just say that for example you have to solve this question अगर हमें लिखना होगा तो मैं कैसे लिखूंगा स्टूडेंट्स दैट दिस एज ऑफ एलिजाबेथ ऑफ एलिजाबेथन इज एक्चुअली कंसीडर्ड टू बी द गोल्डन पीरियड ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड एज द सोशियो पोलिटिकल रिलीजियस क्लाइमेट वाज वेरी मच कंड्यूसिव टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ ड्रामा टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ आर्ट एज वेल एज इन टोटैलिटी जिसको हम कहते हैं लिटरेचर एंड द डार्कनेस ऑफ द मेडिवल टाइम्स which had actually vanished and the spiritual, the intellectual and the physical limitations paved the way for the entry of the renaissance and that entry of the renaissance fervor, that entry of the renaissance romance, that entry of the renaissance imagination which spread its wings jisne apne panko ko phelaya and which took a long long flight into the realms of the unknown into the realms of the fascination of the fascinated world where human fancy had never known earlier so this would be my uh, my lines which i would be writing exactly in the initial stage to make the examiner understand that what i have understood with the elizabethan part to solve this question and then we can go for the and making the examiner understand about drama which I have already taught in the classes also I have taken the classes in the history of English literature why I tell that history of English literature is very important that see the first question the students have to solve with the help of the history of English literature and I found that many students they don't go for the history of English literature and they just start their syllabus and th this happens because they don't have any guidance students fine understood now uh, you can come on the uh, on the message box on the content and uh, see on this message box and just you can write your questions whatever questions you have whatever uh, wish you want to ask regarding your is pcs or any career oriented questions you can ask me students uh, nilesh jaiswal how are you nilesh now the second question is what is the historical and the critical value of referring to a disparate group as the metaphysical poets now just remember students there are innumerable students who are studying in the different batches of Hoysen Academy now just remember this this second question is also a direct question which came from the history of English literature that is the metaphysical uh, poets and I have taught this uh, this section very well and taking into consideration all the details of the metaphysical poets including John Donne as well as the other poets who were in touch with them who were also wanted to be like that and in the later stage also you will find T.S. Eliot who was also a great follower of John Donne you have to tell that also you have to re refer to that group of the as the metaphysical poets explaining that what is metaphysical what is the metaphysical poets and what was the 
uh, what was the time when these metaphysical poets they emerged out fine uh, uh, bang bang i think sir provide india's best quality english literature and i hope i will qualify my exam uh, thank you uh, but uh, my dear student because uh, i am unable to see your name so can you give me your name so that it will be easy for me to uh, remember you and to take your name here so um, i hope now students the third question which is a very easy question but it needs guidance a ba part 1 student can also write this question and even a ma or a gold medalist student may not be able to write that question in a very sensitive form where the uh, examiners would need that importance important content which is needed and that question is just uh, uh, screen pe wo lagaya jaye question paper students ke liye epic and mock epic epic and mock epic uh, ravi ravi uh, beta ravi aap kahan se belong karte hain ek ravi hamare bhi student hain osn academy ke are you the same ravi who has joined osn classes for ias mains if you are the same ravi then i have i i could recognize you third question is students the difference between epic and mock epic main bahut daave ke sath students keh sakta hu i can say this thing emphatically i can even justify this thing emphatically that hundreds and thousands and lakhs of students who are studying the ugc net examination ugc net examination ias examination se 10 टाइम्स ज्यादा सिलेबस है इट इज इन टू टेन अगर आप आई का सिलेबस देखिए तो यूजीसी नेट का जो सिलेबस है दैट और आई का जो सिलेबस है अगर आई को सिलेबस को इंटू टेन कर दीजिए इंटू टेन देन इट बिकम्स यूजीसी नेट जस्ट इमेजिन बट देर इज अ डिफरेंस द डिफरेंस इज दैट इन द यूजीसी नेट यू बिकम अ प्रोफेसर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर हियर यू बिकम an administrator the top most chair of the country and here there are other examinations as well as like pre gs and so many things this does not mean ki ye exam saral hai ya ye kathin hai ya ye saral hai ye kathin hai no both the examinations have different quality have different understanding have different visions and you get different things but as a professor in english and as a teaching experience of 25 years I can say this thing without doubt that UGC NET की जो हमारे हजारों बच्चे qualify करके आज पूरे India में assistant professors बन रहे हैं अभी I am congratulate all my 65, 70 students who have qualified the UGC NET exam in the last uh, December uh, जो results आया है though the results were less I was expecting more but because of some cut off percentage the results came down so इसमें क्या है students की अगर ये बच्चे भी IAS और PCS की तैयारी करें तो इनको इतनी नॉलेज होती है दैट दे कैन विन ओवर द रेस ऑफ आई सिलेबस बस फर्क क्या है कि दिस इज ऑब्जेक्टिव मोड एंड दिस इज सब्जेक्टिव मोड तो दो मोड जो है वो फर्क है इसीलिए मैं हमेशा कहता हूं स्टूडेंट जिनको कि फ्लेयर है इंग्लिश लिटरेचर में दोज हु कैन राइट वेल अंडरस्टैंड वेल दोज हु हैव द क्रिएटिव जीनियस दोज दो हैव द यू नो द इमेजिनेशन थिंग्स दोज हु कैन फर्टाइल उनका जो इमेजिनेशन फर्टाइल है देन दे शुड गो फॉर द आई एग्जामिनेशन फाइन पारिजेत पांडे प्रणाम सर कैन यू रिकमेंड अ गुड बुक ऑन हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर दैट कवर्स ऑल द टॉपिक्स इन डेप्थ इन योर ओपिनियन विल मोस्ट हेल्पफुल फॉर नेट एग्जाम परिजात पांडे अच्छा आप ही स्टूडेंट है रवि ओके देन रवि इज ऑलरेडी माय स्टूडेंट ऑफ आई एस एंड आई आई होप रवि दैट यू मस्ट बी प्रिपेयरिंग वेल एंड इफ एनी डाउट यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी राजेश चौबे गुड आफ्टरनून अंकिता शर्मा थैंक यू अंकिता अनन्या शेट्टी गुड आफ्टरनून परिजात जैसा कि आपको पता है कि मैं यूजीसी नेट पिछले 24 वर्षों से पढ़ा रहा हूं तो आपको जो मार्केट की बुक्स हैं वो भी आप परचेस कर सकते हैं राउलेज बुक इज गुड डेविड डैशेज इज गुड डब्ल्यू जे लॉन्ग इज गुड सैंडर्स इज गुड एन के नायक इज गुड देन देर इज अ बुक नोन एज माइकल एलेक्जेंडर दैट इज ऑल्सो गुड बट इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेल इन यूर यूजीसी नेट परिजात then just download the application osn academy and join the new batch which has just started few days before and take my own study material packet which will be much 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 better and dignified compared to the market books kyunki market books mein aap saikdo khareedenge aur usme se dimag lagana padega ki hame padhna kya hai in my 11 books you will not be able to 
you will be able to um, justify it very easily because it is totally my experience and totally net content. Uh, thank you so much Rajesh and yes I wish you all a very very happy Mahashivratri. Today is a very big day, very auspicious day and on this auspicious day I am taking this class believing that you will take all the advantage of my classes, all the advantage of my test series for 2022 and all the advantage of my classes to become some good citizens of the country. Now coming back to Epic and Mock Epic which is a very simple question. Can you imagine that in the paper mein ye pucha ja raha hai ki Epic and Mock Epic mein difference bataiye. Just imagine UGC net bachche to soj bhi nahi sakte ki itta saral question aayega. But yes, now the difference is that how you have to write this answer. That is the matter. So in my classes, the students get nourished with the best content that they have to write in the IES exam. Now, what is epic and mono-epic? If we have to write students, then what will I write? I can tell you how to do analysis. Analysis. You have to do analysis on your own. But if you come to me, then my analysis and how I will be solving these questions, that will be important for you students. Manitosh, good afternoon. Manitosh, uh, I welcome you here on this platform and uh, uh, I believe that you have joined my classes I think seven days before you are from Bihar but I think you are residing in Delhi. And what do you feel Manitosh, how you have felt after joining my classes one week before? Jo bachche hume dekh pa rahe hain, kam se kam unko ye fayda hoga aap se batane se ki Manitosh is my student, he is the resident of Bihar and residing in Delhi, he is preparing under my guidance and he is preparing for 2022. So last week only he has joined my uh, IES batch. I think he must be very happy. Let me see that what he can write uh, for the other students that what he has felt for OSN classes. Now, epic or mock epic kya hai students? Epic kya hai? Epic is a very, very long narrative poem. Kya hai students epic? Aise pehla line aap shuru karenge. You will not waste a single word. Aap single word ko bhi waste nahi karenge kyunki IES ke examination mein numbers jo hai काउंटेड होते हैं जगह जो है काउंटेड होती है कोई भी आप यू विल नॉट बीट अबाउट द बुश यू विल नॉट वेस्ट योर टाइम इन 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 दोस वर्ड्स व्हिच आर ऑफ नो वैल्यू सो एपिक इज बेसिकली अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग नैरेटिव पोएम व्हिच रिलेट्स द हीरोइक एक्शंस ऑफ अ हीरो वो क्या रिलेट करता है हीरो के हीरोइक एक्शंस को रिलेट करता है और इवन स्मॉल नंबर ऑफ हीरोज मे बी वन हीरो और मे बी स्मॉल नंबर ऑफ हीरोज बट हाउ in an elevated style, in a grand style like that of Milton. So, ye shabd aapko lagara zaruri hai that epic is a narrative poem which relates to a hero or number of heroes and it is written in a very elevated and a very dignified style, in a very sublime style. Or we can say that it is a long narrative poem of very dignified themes. Kaisi themes hongi students? Dignified. It will be having dignified themes. It will be having the organic unity. Organic unity. These are the terms which you have to write to get good marks. Fine. Who says that English literature is, 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 is a subject where you don't get marks. You get more than marks than even physics, chemistry or maths or sociology or political science or history. But yes, you have to be knowledgeable. And for good knowledge, you have to have these classes so that you can get that level of understanding to write that, uh, that proper words at proper place. Fine. And the third point is grand style. There may be many more words, synonyms which can come here. But if it is an epic, suppose if it is an epic of the hero or the heroes, is ki jo theme hogi, the theme will be made up of heroic actions and even the misfortunes of the hero or the heroes. And don't forget that agar aap epic ko paribhashat kar rahe hain, to usme ye zaroor likhega that hero in an epic is a national figure. Woh national figure hota hai, jisko sab pyaar karte hain aur sab chahate hain. Whom all love and adore. Sir, please teach us smart word words not clear on this board. Okay, fine. So very soon the students will get the smart board. Rajni Kanta Sankhua. Rajni Kanta Sankhua, good afternoon. Uh, Rajni Kanta Sankhua. Sankhua, if I am if, if not wrong, you are my student from Kattak who has qualified UGC Net English under my guidance. If I am not wrong, if I am my, uh, my memory is sharp, then you are that same Sankhua who is from Kattak or Calicut. 
लिटरेचर लवर्स गुड आफ्टरनून सर हबी महाशिवरात्रि हैप्पी महाशिवरात्रि व्हाट इज योर नेम माय डियर लिटरेचर लवर कैन आई नो योर नेम सो दैट आई कैन स्पेल योर नेम हियर फाइन सो आई एम श्योर क्या नाम मानितोष मानितोष अगर आप मुझे सुन पा रहे हैं बेटा मानितोष अगर आप मुझे सुन पा रहे हैं अगर आप हमें देख पा रहे हैं सो वुड यू लाइक टू क्योंकि आपसे मेरी पहली बार लाइव में बात हो रही है यू हैव ऑलरेडी ज्वाइन द ओ एस एन क्लासेस सो कैन यू राइट फ्यू वर्ड्स दैट आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग द क्लासेस वॉट यू हैव फेल्ट मतलब कोई ऐसी चीज जो आप चाहते हो कि सर आप ऐसा भी कर लीजिए तो और मजा आएगा सो यू कैन यू गिव सम वर्ड्स फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स और फॉर मी हियर सो दैट वी मे बी एबल टू रीड इट बिकॉज यू हैव ज्वाइन अर्लीस्ट लेटेस्ट फाइन सो अगर हम नेशनल फिगर की बात करें सो द हीरो इज अ नेशनल फिगर इन द एपिक जिनको हम सब प्यार करते हैं एडोर करते हैं एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव एन एग्जाम्पल एंड द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल वुड बी द रामायण द रामायण इज सच एन एपिक देन यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव द महाभारत इन संस्कृत इज ऑल्सो सच काइंड ऑफ एन एपिक एंड महाभारत इज एन एपिक ऑफ अ डिग्निफाइड थीम विच वेयर द इवेंट्स are related in a very grand style and the events which are related in a grand style which are finally leading to a very very noble conclusion jo conclusion hota hai wo bahut noble hai and such epic is known as milton's paradise lost it does not talk about the entire world it it, it does not talk about talk about any materialism Milton's Paradise Lost talks about the human race. ऐसा कभी आज तक पूरे वर्ल्ड में किसी पोएट ने नहीं लिखा एंड दैट इज वाई इट इट हैज सच अ ग्रैंडर स्टेबिलिटी सनॉरिटी आर्किक वर्ड्स मिल्टन्स पैराडाइज लॉस्ट इज अब ऑल बट इन एनी केस स्टूडेंट्स इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एपिक एंड मॉक एपिक and if i am discussing epic then yes it is a long narrative poem it has sublimity it has theme of organic unity it has to have the orderly progress of action and last but not least it has a grand style and agar in me jitni points maine aapko bataya hai whatever points i have told you if any one is missing the poem actually shorts fall short of the nature of epic एपिक कहलाने लायक में थोड़ा सा वो बच्चों कमजोर पड़ जाएगा इट विल फॉल शॉर्ट ऑफ कॉलिंग इट एज एन एपिक फाइन राज रवि लाइक एंड शेयर थैंक यू रवि थैंक यू फॉर शेयरिंग एंड फॉर लविंग इट यस सी बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स जब भी पढ़िए हमारा ये कहना है कि अच्छा पढ़िए किसी से भी पढ़िए कहीं भी पढ़िए ऑल टीचर्स आर गुड टीचर्स but it is only that you are somehow connected with your heart and mind with that teacher so for for you that teacher is most respected teacher and the thing which is very important students today to get something in your life to uh, to uh, to to attain something big in your life don't forget don't at all forget to pay regard to your teachers which i really find missing in this uh, in this new era and there was a time even today when i when i talk to my professors when i talk to my teachers i have so much of respect i have so much of gratitude because they have blessed me that what i am today what i am making the entire country today past 24 5 years it is the blessing of my parents my friends and especially my professors who have made me like this so always remember students bahut achhi baat main aapko sikha raha hu ki you are not giving anything to your professor you just pay you just pay regard said that regard is a guru dakshina to your teacher who ever may be aap kahin bhi padhiye zarur regard dijiye regard hi unko chahiye aur kuch nahi chahiye aapse so this is a very important thing which is missing and i really feel sometimes you know uh, that how should i convey this thing through this platform ki bacche sirf hamara ek kehna maan le कि वो अपने पेरेंट्स की इज्जत करें अपने टीचर्स की इज्जत करें निश्चित रूप से वो आप कहीं ना कहीं बड़े बन के बैठ जाएंगे फाइन आई विल नॉट गो मच इन टू द डिटेल ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ एपिक विच इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस क्वेश्चन बट आई विल नॉट डायरेक्टली गो टू द मॉक एपिक टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एपिक एंड मॉक एपिक एनी क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स 
मानितोष लगता है आप है नहीं बच्चों स्टूडेंट मानितोष मॉक एपिक जो है उसको हम मॉक हीरोइक भी स्टूडेंट्स कहते हैं मॉक एपिक को हम मॉक हीरोइक भी कहते हैं अभी तक हमने आपसे बात किया था एपिक की और बहुत सारा आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन दिया विच इज नॉट कंप्लीट बट बिकॉज इट इज इट इज अ लाइव सेशन वी कैन नॉट डिस्कस एवरी मतलब कंप्लीटली इट इज जस्ट एन एनालिसिस पार्ट to make you understand that how you have to start how you have to close what terms you have to uh, know and how you have to write good so that you get good marks so mock he mock heroic kya hota hai uh, a term for a literary form which basically that burlesques the epic by treating a very trivial subject ek koi tuch jo hindi mein kehte hain trivial subject ko agar hum grand style mein dikha rahe hain और यूजेज द एपिक फॉर्मूलाज टू मेक इट ट्रीवल सब्जेक्ट रिडिकुलस बाई बाई ओवर स्टेटिंग इट ओवर स्टेट कर देने से उसको कहते हैं मॉक एपिक क्वेश्चन बच्चों पूछते जाइएगा आप वो मैसेज पे तो किसी बच्चे ने मैसेज किया है कासिम uh, कासिम uh, uh, कश्मीरी ने कैन आई फाइंड ऑल द इंग्लिश लिटरेचर लेक्चर्स फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग नेट येस वाई नॉट हंड्रेड्स एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर प्रिपेयरिंग एंड क्वालिफाइंग पास सो मेनी इयर्स सो वाई यू विल नॉट गेट ऑल द लेक्चर्स ऑफ यू जी सी नेट यू विल गेट ऑल द कम्प्लीट लेक्चर्स ऑफ यू जी सी नेट कम्प्लीट सिलेबस यूनिट वन टू यूनिट टेन कासिम यू हैव टू जस्ट डाउनलोड द एप्लीकेशन ओ एस एन अकेडमी फ्रॉम द प्ले स्टोर and down and join the new batch uh, parijat sir thank you so much for recommended books as well as oisan academy although i have seen a peak of cultural studies on your platform can promote nayar's cultural studies be useful for net see again parijat i am telling you again i have to repeat the same answer that cultural studies is only one one unit of ugc net so pramod k nayar is a gold book it is a branded book i do have that pramod k nayar and i used to study pramod k nayar in when i was in ma i even refer it when i teach my offline classes to the students but only one book of one unit will not suffice so that is why i am telling you that the entire show that is the unit 1 to unit 10 in collaboration with your classes with the study material with the test series with all the guidance then you make you qualify ugc net हमेशा स्टूडेंट्स याद रखिए किसी एक यूनिट की कोई अच्छी किताब ले लेने से नेट नहीं होगा बेटा सो दैट इज वाई परिजात आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू दैट आप हमारे एप्लीकेशन डाउनलोड करिए वहां पे जाइए देखिए कि देर इज अ न्यू बैच विच विल बी कवरिंग द एंटायर यूनिट्स एंड वेयर यू विल ऑल्सो गेटिंग दैट यूनिट वन टू यूनिट टेन पी डी एफ एज वेल एज द हार्ड कॉपी ऑफ दो बुक्स एंड द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ माई क्लासेज इज सो रिच so rich that the students they don't refer to any books and they qualify the examination they get more than 60% questions from my classes itself can you imagine 60% is a very big figure uh, sir it is very good class for upsc uh, thank you manitosh uh, manitosh is my student who has joined one week before and he has written it is very good class thank you manitosh for guiding all the other students pare paresh so the way of delivering a lecture touches my heart thank you paresh thank you for your nice comment and i would just like to know that aap kisi exam ki preparation kar rahe hain paresh see uh, mock epic pe hum log wapas aate hain mock epic sure sir will definitely download the oisan academy app and the study material and yes parijat aap bilkul bhi time na kharab kare kyunki parijat ab application ne ek saal ka tenure de diya hai and that to विदाउट एनी एक्स्ट्रा फीस कि अगर आप जून का एग्जाम क्वालिफाई नहीं कर पाए देन अगेन यू हैव सिक्स मंथ टाइम विदाउट पेइंग एनी थिंग दैट इज एन एक्सटेंशन फ्रॉम द ओ एस एन अकेडमी एप्लीकेशन विच वी हैव डन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग एंड हु आर पुअर एनफ टू गो फॉर दैट अदर टाइम सो वी हैव गिवेन वन ईयर एंड द सेम फीस आई एम ऑल्सो ज्वाइंट एज आई एस मेन्स एंड टू हंड्रेड परसेंट सेटिस्फाइड सर एज यू आर गॉड ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर सर इज रियली हेल्पफुल एंड न्यू थिंग्स आई लर्न टी आर गेम प्ले टी आर गेम प्ले बेटा आप अपना नाम बताइए तो मैं आपको याद कर पाऊंगा कि आप हमारे स्टूडेंट हैं एंड आई एम वेरी थैंक यू टू यू आई एम आई वेरी हैप्पी दैट माई स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ यू जी सी नेट आई एस बी पी एस सी पी सी एस एल टी पी जी टी आई कैन अश्योर दिस थिंग एंड आई कैन बेट एंड कैन चैलेंज दिस थिंग दैट नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन 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 परसेंट मीन्स ऑलमोस्ट हंड्रेड परसेंट आर सेटिस स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ओवर इंडिया हु आर स्टडिंग अंडर माई गाइडेंस एंड हैव बींग स्टडिंग पास ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स have been satisfied though 
सम ऑफ देम मे नॉट क्वालिफाई लेकिन जो भी बच्चे हमसे पढ़ लेते हैं वो कहीं ना कहीं जीवन में जाके स्टैंड कर जाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर एक आई बच्चा हमसे पढ़ रहा है कल को वो अगर आई नहीं क्वालिफाई करता है तो लकली ही इज एबल टू क्वालिफाई द पीसीएस और ही इज एबल टू क्वालिफाई द एल टी पी जी टी एनी थिंग बिकॉज द लेवल थ्रू विच दे आर स्टडिंग दैट इज समथिंग वेरी प्रेशियस आई कंटिन्यू विद हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर लिटरेचर योर लिटरेचर मेमरीज मी एवरीथिंग एट ए टाइम येस इट इज ट्रू माई बुक्स सी मानितोष ने लिखा है कि इसको हमारा स्टडी मटीरियल भी गया है आई एस का विच इज एक्चुअली इनडिस्पेंसिबल बिकॉज द स्टडी मटीरियल Has, uh, you know, it is basically like a like a desert. Desert means कि जब हम खाना खाने के बाद कोई sweet dish मांगते हैं, so my study material is like a desert which you need after going through the classes. So the students who have joined my classes, they have the study material also. So it is basically the 360 degree angle complete means कि they are getting the classes which is so so content rich. And after that, when they get the study material, they feel very happy that yes, now they don't have to make any notes. टी आर गेम प्ले राज राज मीन्स ललित राजपूत ललित राजपूत ललित राजपूत यू हैव टेकन माई स्टडी मटीरियल आई थिंक और यू हैव ज्वाइन माई क्लासेज बिकॉज आई हैव मेनी स्टूडेंट्स इन द नेम ऑफ ललित सो दैट इज वाई एम बिट लिटिल बिट कन्फ्यूज कैन यू टेल मी यू हैव टेकन द स्टडी मटीरियल और द क्लासेज और बोथ एंड यू बिलोंग टू विस सिटी देन आई विल रिमेंबर यू रिकलेक्ट यू ओके परिजात गॉट इट क्लियर कोई भी दिक्कत हो परिजात और एनी ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स हु आर वाचिंग मी हियर दे कैन टेक माय नंबर एंड दे कैन कॉल मी द नंबर इज ऑन द स्क्रीन दे कैन व्हाट्सएप मी आल्सो फाइन नाउ मॉक एपिक पे हम दोबारा जाते हैं स्टूडेंट्स क्योंकि वो अभी रह जा रहा है सी मॉक एपिक की एक खास बात यह होती है दैट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द क्लासिकल एपिक आर एम्प्लॉयड पर्टिकुलरली आप याद रखिएगा उसमें होता है इन्वोकेशन इन्वोकेशन invocation and invocation to whom invocation to a dt then the formal statement of theme then the division into books and cantos then the grandiose speeches the grandiloquent speeches the defiances the challenges of whom of the heroes the description of the warriors they dress their equipments the involvement of the supernatural machineries either the gods are directing or participating in the action and don't forget that when the mock epic or sorry when the mock poem is much shorter than a true epic some prefer to call it mock heroic a term also applied to poems that mock romances rather than epics fine और अगर हम ऑर्डिनरी यूसेज की बात करें इन ऑर्डिनरी यूसेज बेसिकली दीज टू टर्म्स आर इंटरचेंजेबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम आपको नाम बताते हैं चौसर्स नन प्री स्टेल चौसर्स नन प्री स्टेल चौसर्स नन प्री स्टेल इज पार्टली मॉक हीरोइक इन कैरेक्टर पार्टली एज वी ऑल्सो फाइन इन अदर अदर थिंग्स इन यूपीएससी मेन्स एग्जाम डिमांड अ वेरी ब्रीफ एंड एनेटिक आंसर परेश इट इट रिक्वायर्स अ वेरी ब्रीफ एंड एनेटिक आंसर बट इट डिपेंड्स जैसे मैं एनालिसिस कर रहा हूं आपके सामने कि जो भी बच्चे सुन पा रहे हैं बहुत ध्यान से समझिएगा कि इन्होंने जो क्वेश्चन पूछा है इट डिमांड अ वेरी ब्रीफ एंड एनेटिक आंसर ये इट शुड बी ब्रीफ एंड एनेटिक बट यू हैव टू एनालाइज दैट वॉट Uh, what number of words they are asking? One hundred and fifty words. So, if one hundred and fifty words, then you have to write accordingly. If you have to write accordingly, then you have to write accordingly. If you have to write accordingly, then you have to write accordingly. If you have to write accordingly, then you have to write accordingly. If you have to write accordingly, then you have to write accordingly. If you have to write accordingly, then you have to write accordingly. If you have to write accordingly, then you have to write accordingly. If you have to write accordingly, then you have to write accordingly. then to it is very important that if you have more knowledge, then only you can deliver. If you have more knowledge, then only you can deliver. in writing something which is very brief very eccentric upsc eccentric and the language has not to be very ornamented it should not be gaudy it should not be full of verbosity it should not be abstract it should not be absurd it should come out straight from your heart like a spontaneous feelings coming from the heart like as wordsworth has said 
सो वर्सवर्थ की थ्योरी यहां पर लगाइएगा द स्पॉन्टेनियस ओवरफ्लो एंड दिस स्पॉन्टेनियस ओवरफ्लो ऑफ पावरफुल फीलिंग्स विल कम टू योर आंसर पेपर वेन यू हैव गुड नॉलेज वेन यू हैव द गुड क्लासेज वेन यू हैव द गुड स्टडी मटीरियल देन ओनली दो थिंग्स विल फिल्टर लाइक इन द नेक्टर इन द सीव आपने एक नॉवेल पढ़ी होगी नेक्टर इन द सीव शहद शहद एक एक छन्नी के अंदर वो छन के आएगा ऐसे होता है ना सीव ऐसे अंदर नेक्टर डाला तो नेक्टर इन द सीव ऐसे आएगा देन वेन यू विल राइट फ्रॉम योर पेन देन द नेक्टर विल फ्लो फ्रॉम दैट पेन एंड देन यू आर द बेस्ट कैंडिडेट फॉर द यूपीएससी फाइन आई एम फ्रॉम लखनऊ यू नो मी वेल आई एम सनीज फ्रेंड ही इज रेफर्ड मी एज ओस एन अकेडमी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई क्लियर माई डाउट थ्रू व्हाट्सएप I am from Lucknow. Met me well. Uh, I am Sunny's friend. Uh, but I am a Lalit Rajput. Okay. Fine. So, any more questions, students? Or I should uh, continue for the next question. See, this me. The next question is, students. Who is? डिस्कस रोमांटिसिज्म एज अ ब्रॉड मूवमेंट ऑफ थॉट इन फिलोसफी एंड लिटरेचर एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण और बहुत ही बेहतरीन क्वेश्चन है जिसको कि मैंने अपने क्लास में भी डील किया हुआ है डिस्कस रोमांटिसिज्म नाउ रोमांटिसिज्म इज अ वेरी ब्रॉड टर्म स्टूडेंट्स रोमांटिसिज्म रोमांटिक रिवाइवल वर्ड्स वर्थ कोलरेश कीट शैली बायरन सो मेनी थिंग्स कम अंडर कंसिडरेशन ये एक बहुत ब्रॉड मूवमेंट है बहुत बड़ा है एंड इट इज अ मूवमेंट ऑफ थाट इन फिलोसफी and literature so wordsworth's poetry coleridge's poetry as a thought of philosophy ek apne aap mein ek darshan hai aur ek sahitya hai so it is a very easy question to discuss in respect to the romanticism in respect to the romantic age as i have already taught you in the class and the content is also there and my classes are overloaded with this with this question see see i am really very happy i am really very happy that this time such questions have come even in the past years also what i have been teaching in my class according to the syllabus and with the uh, and with the study and the history of english literature maximum questions which i have been teaching is in the examination paper ab isse zyada bachcho kya chahiye aapko ki jo padha rahe hain wo paper mein rakha hua hai and you can see it you can check the classes you can see the classes there is koi bhi cheez yahan chupi nahi hai it is all open now The next question is very simple, very direct question which I have been teaching also. What is industrial development? Oh, sorry, industrial revolution. How did the industrial revolution affect literature in the 18th century? Such a direct and simple question. Industrial revolution ne revolution ne literature ko kaise affect kiya thari vish tadhi me? And which I have taught in the history of English literature. Such a direct question. I am sure you will agree to this. That yes, sir, all these questions you have already taught us. is sociology optional is started my friend want to join yes sociology optional is going to start next week agle agle hafte se osn academy is launching the second best sort after subject that is is mains in sociology by a great um, you know very talented very talented multi talented ugc net jrf srf candidate and a well experienced woman dr varsha singh she is going to start the is preparation in sociology in osn academy so for those students who are knowing that they are going to take sociology as a subject who can help their friends that sociology is coming in osn academy they can refer to us so how will i prepare for kvs and nvs pgt arti the number is given on the screen board you can just whatsapp me after this session you can call us the pgt kvs nvs batch is already running in the application of osn academy the students they have qualified in the previous years that kbs nvs dssb all all the verticals are there in the application itself fine arti so after this session you just whatsapp me the number is on the screen and you can even call me the number is given on the on the message box also fine now the next uh, part i am going to take is c the second part jara uh, si uh, screen pe uh, question le aaiye question number part 2 नेचर एंड सोसाइटी आर फ्रीक्वेंटली कंट्रास्टेड इन टेम्पेस्ट टेम्पेस्ट को हमने बहुत बेहतरीन तरीके से स्टूडेंट्स को पढ़ाया है अपने क्लास में उनको स्टडी मटेरियल में आई गिवन लॉट मेनी क्वेश्चंस विच आर डिस्कस्ड ऑन द टेम्पेस्ट नेचर एक तरफ एंड सोसाइटी 
these are frequently contrasted in the play Tempest by Shakespeare. This theme ko hume nikalna hai throughout the course of the play, which is actually very, very, very much manageable by the students of UPSC. Am I right? Kya main sach bol raha hoon? Aap log is question ko kar lenge. Now, again the next question. John Dunn's poetical works are noted for their metaphorical, kyunki yes, there is an abundance of metaphorism and sensual style. John Dunn is known for his sensuality. Explain this with reference to the poems which are prescribed in the syllabus. Direct question. Now, the third question in paper in, in part two is examine Milton's treatment of Adam and Eve in Paradise Lost, particularly his opinions concerning marriage and gender roles appropriate to each sex. Again, this is a very genuine and a very direct question for those students who have attended my Paradise Lost, who have who have taken my classes and I have been giving these classes in the YouTube channel also and particularly in my UPSC classes of UPSC. Again, see, you have to read Paradise Lost ko hai. and this question is a very direct question regarding to the treatment of Adam and Eve in, 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 in Paradise Lost regarding the marriage and gender roles. Fine. Uh, any more questions students? You can just uh, drop your message box. Now, the question which I want to discuss here, which is also a very important question always, and that is, that is the third part, comment, uh, screen pillaye paper, comment on the role of epic machinery in the rape of the lock. Comment. Dekhye, aap screen pe dekh pa rahe honge students, part 3 likha hai, answer all the following. Comment on the role of epic machinery in the rape of the log. अब देखिए ये कितना direct question है और इसको जो students हमारे senior students हैं जो पढ़ रहे हैं बहुत सालों से महीनों से वो ये बता पाएंगे कि yes sir ने इसको बहुत अच्छे तरीके से पढ़ाया है अब जो बच्चे हमें सुन पा रहे हैं देखिए इसको कैसे पढ़ाया जाएगा या इसको में हम अगर होते तो मैं इसको कैसे लिखता analyze करने के लिए because I am doing the analysis of this paper so question पूछा गया है role of epic machinery तो सबसे पहले हम स्टेटमेंट स्टार्ट करेंगे क्योंकि हमारे पास शब्दों की कमी से हमें जगह की कमी से हमें लिखना होता है तो पहला ही सेंटेंस इतना बेहतरीन होना चाहिए दैट द एग्जामिनर फील्स दैट यस यू हैव गुड नॉलेज जैसे मैं लिखूंगा पोप्स द रेप ऑफ द लॉक इज एक्चुअली क्लेम्ड एज अ मॉक एपिक इन विच द पोएट हैज मेड अ वेरी डिलाइटफुल बैंटर ऑफ ए सोसाइटी इन द गार्ब ऑफ एन एपिक पोएट and one of the essential features of an epic poem as mentioned by Aristotle. And what is that essential features of an epic poem as mentioned by Aristotle? It is the machinery. The machinery as explained by Pope himself. Where? In his uh, prefatory dedication to Miss Arabella Farmer is a term invented by the critics. And why? To, to, to signify that part which the deities, which the angels, which the demons are made to act in a poem. And so this machinery implies the introduction of the supernatural elements to enhance the gravity of the atmosphere and so it quickens the process of action in epic poetry. And the term has come from the mechanical device to drop the angels, to drop the fairies on the stage from above by means of a pulley or a like instrument. So this machinery of Pope's mock epic is however different from the others as we have been watching the world's greater epics. Pope, pe aap likh sakte hai, Pope does not introduce in the manner of Homer, in the manner of Virgil, the usual gods and goddesses of heaven. He does not resort to the introduction of the angels of Teso or the moral symbols of the other poets. His machinery in the rape of the lock is actually novel. It is the machinery in which the slips, the limbs, the gnomes, the salamanders, they abound. So, you can see that I have said 300 words and 400 words. Se jada bol diya Inhi words ko aur press karke, aapko aur achcha lik karke, inhi ko aur filter karke lik dena hai. And yes, you will be getting the best marks. Isse behtar koi kuch ho hi nahi sakta, kyunki you are getting everything in that 150 marks. Any questions? All the UPSC uh, students who are watching me, any questions? UGC net students who are watching me, any questions?
Any questions, students? I am just taking a 10 second break to have a glass of water. सी अगेन स्क्रीन पे क्वेश्चन पेपर को लाया जाए और देखिए स्टूडेंट्स पार्ट थ्री में जो क्वेश्चन बी है एक्सप्लेन हाउ थ्रू हिज पोइट्री वर्ड्सवर्थ वर्ड्सवर्थ इज ओवरटली एक्सप्लोरिंग एन इंटीमेट को रिलेशन विद मैन काइंड एंड नेचर केवल शब्दों की हेरा फेरी बच्चों की है एग्जामिनर ने केवल शब्दों की अदरवाइज आप देखिए तो इसी क्वेश्चन को दस तरीके से हम पूछ सकते हैं और दस तरीके से पिछले दसियों साल से आई वाले पूछ रहे हैं फाइन एक्सप्लेन हाउ थ्रू हिज पोइट्री वर्ड्स वर्ड्स वर्थ इज ओवरली एक्सप्लोरिंग एंड इंटीमेट को रिलेशन क्या एक्सप्लोर कर रहा है और एक बहुत ही इंटीमेट रिलेशनशिप को रिलेशन बिटवीन मैन एंड नेचर हमारे और नेचर के बीच में एक इंटीमेट रिलेशनशिप है वेरी सिंपल यू हैव टू जस्ट एक्सप्लोर वर्ड्स वर्थ एज अ ग्रेट पोएर ऑफ नेचर वर्ड्स वर्थ इज अ हाई प्रिस्ट ऑफ नेचर एंड द पोइट्री ऑफ नेचर फाइंड्स इट्स मोस्ट सबलाइम एंड सस्टेनिंग एक्सप्रेशन इन द वर्क्स ऑफ वर्ड्स वर्थ ऐसे करके आप पहली लाइन लिख दीजिए द प्रोफेसर और द एग्जामिनर विल बी थ्रिल्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट येस दिस स्टूडेंट हैज अ ग्रेट नॉलेज अबाउट अबाउट वर्ड्स वर्थ and you can also quote that as alexander pope is considered by popular opinion and seasoned judgment as a poet of the town and of artificial life so is wordsworth rightly regarded as the greatest poet of the country side and of the life of the nature in its physical or as well as its spiritual aspects इसको हिंदी में कहेंगे कि जैसे अलेक्जेंडर पोप को कंसीडर किया जाता है पूरे वर्ल्ड में एक पॉपुलर ओपिनियन है उसके उसके प्रति कि वो बहुत ही सीजन जजमेंट देते हैं बहुत ही आर्टिफिशियलिटी होती है उनके पोएम्स में तो उसी से कंट्रास्ट कर दीजिए तो वर्ड्स क्या है ही इज नॉट एट ऑल आर्टिफिशियल ही इज स्पॉन्टेनियस ही इज रिगार्डेड एज अ पोएट ऑफ नेचर एज अ प्रीस्ट ऑफ नेचर एज अ मदर ऑफ नेचर In all its physical aspects as well as adhyatmi means his spiritual aspects. So poets, अगर हम बात करें Wordsworth से पहले poets earlier to Wordsworth, uh, you may take the name of Burns, you may take the name of Cowper, you may take the name of Crabbe, you may take the name of Goldsmith. They have all poets. These poets before Wordsworth, they had exhibited a fine, fine appreciation. for the beauties of nature in its external aspects who had been delineating the lovely spectacles of nature in poems of exquisite beauty and loveliness and that is the reason that is the thing which you have to come out in this in this in this uh, in this um, question what is the good score to achieve in upsc english optional out of uh, 500 i think it should be 275 plus and which is very very easy to score if you command your subject like the way i have been teaching thank you thank you fine now in this question students kyunki short mein likhna hoga lekin ye zarur aapko likhna hai intimate correlation between mankind and and nature इसमें आप ये जरूर बताइएगा कि आ, क्या नाम है देर आर फोर स्टेजेस ऑफ वर्ड्स वर्स ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ नेचर भले ही इसको आप शॉर्ट में लिखिएगा लेकिन लिखिएगा जरूर दैट द प्री डोमिनेंटली स्पिरिचुअल स्पिरिचुअल टोन ऑफ वर्ड्स वर्स अप्रिशिएशन ऑफ नेचर दैट वॉज एक्चुअली नॉट आई यू नो कॉन्टिन्यूड प्रोसेस फ्रॉम द डेज ऑफ इन्फेंसी वेन यू वॉज अ बॉय वेन यू यूज टू एंजॉय एज अ चाइल्ड हुड डेज ऑफ then the came the days of maturity 
than that philosophic insight into the heart of the things. And yes, don't forget in that uh, book which is known as The Growth of Poet's Mind, which is known as The Prelude because it took 40-50 years to complete it. In that prelude or The Growth of Poet's Mind, we have a complete, complete, complete picture of the evolution of the poet's mind and how the various stages of his appreciation of nature beginning with the physical plane and ending with the mystical and the spiritual plane that is spiritualistic interpretation of nature that is what the question has asked and the poet's conception of nature advanced and developed as he grew in years jaise jaise wo aur bade hote chale gaye unka jo concept of nature tha wo wo advance hota chala gaya develop hota chala gaya mature hota chala gaya and his attitude towards nature may be classified as the period of the blood the period of the senses the period of the human heartedness the period of the soul ye char periods hain the period of the blood the period of the senses the period of the human heartedness and the period of the soul so these things are very important to write in in short aur isko hum class mein detail mein padhate hain द फर्स्ट स्टेज द सेकेंड स्टेज द थर्ड स्टेज द फोर्थ स्टेज जब आप क्वेश्चन लिखने बैठे देन दो थिंग्स विल कम टू योर माइंड एंड देन यू विल एनालाइज एंड राइट इन योर वर्ड्स सो दैट इज वॉट द एग्जामिनर नीड्स परेश डू यू प्रिपेयर इंग्लिश मेन टेस्ट सीरीज फॉर यू पी एस सी परेश दिस इज अ वेरी जेन्युन थिंग दैट विदाउट आस्किंग दिस थिंग यू कुड हैव नोन द आंसर If I am teaching IES, PCS, all the top level examinations past 25 years, then test series is always a part of the system, na? So I in the in the starting of the lecture only I have said that those students who are targeting the 2022 examination, they may also consult me, they may also uh, WhatsApp me or call me if they are only interested for the test series, if they are only interested for the study material, or if they are only interested with the classes. So. i have everything to make you qualify this examination it is you to to get up to make yourself charged whoever are sleeping whoever feel that it is not their cup of tea it is your cup of tea if you know english writing if you don't know english if you don't have the skill of writing in english then actually it is not your cup of tea because at such a stage i cannot teach you how to write english i can mend your literature i can mend everything but i cannot mend how to write english so it can be anybody's cup of tea if you have the skill of writing if you have the skill of understanding ki agar aap koi cheez hindi mein soch rahe hain usko hum english mein likh sakte hain sir can you provide model answer in pdf form or on osn app that can help me in answer writing practice manitosh uh, i think that you have uh, because you have joined recently so uh, you just cover up uh, the classes and uh, approximately after 15 20 days you whatsapp me i will give you the 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 test test to perform and to show me fine okay arthi any more questions students now question number part 3 mein uh, screen pe paper laya jaye third dekhiye hai does the speaker in tennyson's in memoriam accept the fact that memory is a selective filtering experience what is the role of filtering in the poem so here uh, if you remember students i have taught in memoriam i have taught tennyson i have taught about tennyson and uh, many things about tennyson and the study material also you will find tennyson's in memoriam so uh, this is a, a question which is not very much direct but yes it can be managed plus ek cheez aur hai हर सेक्शन से आपको एक क्वेश्चन करना है स्टूडेंट्स सो विच इज अ वेरी वेरी गुड थिंग विच इज अ वेरी इजी चॉइस कि तीन क्वेश्चन में एक क्वेश्चन तो आप कर ही लेंगे विच यू विल फील दैट येस इट इज वेरी इजी बिकॉज ऑलमोस्ट 60 70 परसेंट तो हमारे पढ़ाए हुए क्वेश्चन ही आपको मिल जाएंगे और बाकी जो थोड़ा दाए बाएं हो जाते हैं जो आपको ना समझ में उसको छोड़ दीजिए बिकॉज यू हैव सो मेनी थिंग्स विच यू कैन लीव see in the very front page it is written question number 1 and 5 are compulsory and out of the remaining 3 are to be attempted choosing at least one from each section to kitna zyada space aapko diya hai kitna zyada uh, ye simple hai ki bahut sari cheeze aap chhod sakte hain you can analyze ki hame kya best aata hai what best i can write what best content i have 
in the in the paper in the questions and accordingly you can uh, ch choose your answer now uh, there are many students who have always been uh, you know messaging me and inquiring about the most important part of the paper uh, where i get direct calls from all over the country that sir i have I have got a command of English literature under your guidance, but there is one thing which is always uh, giving me tension, but it is very promising as uh, numbers. And what is that? And that is this section B where these lines are given. The poem is given and you have to uh, study that poem and answer all the questions uh, which these they are asking. For example, in this paper, जैसे स्क्रीन पर लाया जाए वो सेक्शन भी नहीं है कोई बात नहीं अगर आपके पास पेपर नहीं हो तो ये देखिए आप शायद ना देख पाए लेकिन दिस इज ए पेपर थोड़ा सा आप देख पा रहे होंगे ये देखिए ये पोएम है ये पोएम जो है पूरी पोएम ये ओरिजिनल पेपर की है इसमें नीचे क्वेश्चंस लिखे हुए हैं सो आई एम नॉट सॉल्विंग दीज क्वेश्चन बट आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ टू एनालाइज दीज पोएम्स हाउ टू एनालाइज दीज क्वेश्चन एंड इट हैज अ वेरी सेट पैटर्न so the moment i will teach all you students uh, through my application you will be very very uh, happy to analyze this question because these questions are very scoring so let us come to that practical criticism part which is of utmost importance this is my question hai what is the tone of the poem how do alliteration consonants and assonants create movement in the poem what are the two toys mentioned in the poem what is the idea of waiting expressed in the poem explain what the poet wants to convey through the allusion to queen victoria in this final stanza and so and so so the most important thing is uh, about this uh, section b that is question 5 that you have to analyze the poem but before you analyze this poem you have to have the analysis practical criticism you have to analyze this poem with the help of the practical criticism and what is practical criticism students Uh, though i will be teaching in the class also but here for those students who are listening me they can understand that once you don't know what is practical criticism how to analyze the poem how to scan the poem how to filter this poem how to understand this poem that what are the things which have been uh, uh, have been blended in the poem which the examiner wants to know through the questions which they are asking so you have to have that analytical mind you have to have that uh, arms and ammunitions usko hum kehte hain shastra aapke paas hone chahiye jaise maan lijiye aap tailor hain to tailor ke paas sui honi chahiye kaichi honi chahiye feeta hona chahiye machine honi chahiye agar aap ek teacher hain to aapke paas copy pen um, uh, duster uh, laptop ye sari cheeze honi chahiye isi tarike se agar aap engineer hain to aapke paas maps vanver caliper कंप्यूटर एंड सो मेनी थिंग्स होने चाहिए सो so, अगर आप एक स्टूडेंट हैं और यूपीएससी की तैयारी कर रहे हैं और आपको पता है कि इसमें एक पोएम आने वाली है जिसको स्कैन करके कुछ क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने होते हैं देन यू हैव टू हैव योर ओन आर्म्स एंड इम्यूशन वो आपके पास अस्त्र शस्त्र और औजार होने चाहिए जिससे उन नजरों से आप उस पोएम को देखेंगे और साइड में लिख लेंगे कि अच्छा इस पोएम में देखिए ये है अच्छा इस पोएम में ये है अच्छा देखिए ये समय जो है सूरज डूब रहा है इस समय जो महबूबा है वो ये कहना चाहती है वो रो रही है वो बहुत पैशनेट है वो बहुत गरीब है या वो बहुत पैसे वाली है शी लव शी हेट शी डिटेस्ट शी हैज़ द शी हैज़ द पावर ऑफ करेज शी इट इज जैसे डब्ल्यू बी एड्स की पोएम्स हैं टी एस एलियट की पोएम्स हैं ब्राउनी की पोएम्स हैं डन की पोएम्स हैं चौसर की पोएम्स हैं यू विल फाइंड हंड्रेड्स एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ पोएम्स विच स्पीक थ्रू देयर ओन लाइन्स so you have to understand that language and for understanding that language first of all you have to notice the poems form and length poem ki jo form hai means ki for example ye poem hai aapko di gayi hai to yahan pe ye poem likhi hui hai for example to sabse pehle aapne bina padhe kya dekha pehla aapne dekha iska form aur iski length bina padhe the first of all which you noticed is about the poem's form the poem's length and one should try to read it uh, intuitively har student ko is poem ko padhna chahiye kaise 
इंट्यूटिवली और इमोशनली थोड़ा उससे जुड़ करके इमोशनली जुड़िए उससे उसको पढ़िए उसको बड़े करीब रख के पढ़िए फील करिए कि उसमें क्या लिखा है बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन तो आप उसको फील करके ही सॉल्व कर देंगे एंड एटलीस्ट ट्राई टू गो थ्रू एट टू टाइम्स हम तो कभी कभी तीन बार कहते हैं बट मिनिमम दो बार उसको पढ़िए एंड पर्टिकुलरली कीपिंग इन माइंड द वेरियस पैटर्न अब इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें आती हैं क्या पैटर्न हैं वॉट आर द पैटर्न वॉट आर द थीम ये सब लिखते जाइए थीम डिक्शन चॉइस ऑफ वर्ड जो कहते हैं मूड ये 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 पॉइंट्स हैं जिस पॉइंट्स में आपको देखना है एंड एक इंपॉर्टेंट है राइमिंग स्कीम देर कैन बी मेनी मेनी मोर आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग सम एग्जाम्पल्स एंड सो ऑन दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू सी एट अ ग्लांस एंड इधर एंड इन इधर इन ऑर्डर बेसिकली टू फील द फ्लो ऑफ द पोएम और टू फील द फ्लो ऑफ द पैसेज द पोएम शुड बी रीड नहीं री रीड करना है एंड वी हैव टू केयरफुली एग्जामिन और डिटर्मिन एस टू हाउ मेनी परसोने अपियर इन दिस पोएम means how many people are there in this poem what part do they take in making the poem proceed and a very important aspect which should be taken into consideration is the is the <coughs> relationship between characters relationship between characters and what is the setting of time बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट सेटिंग ऑफ टाइम लोकेशन ऑफ द पोएम सो देर मे बी मेनी अदर एस्पेक्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड दीज आर द आर्म्स एंड एमिनेशन थ्रू विच स्पीकर कौन है किसको वो एड्रेस कर रही है वो ड्रामा है पोइट्रिक ड्रामा है नेचर पोएम है मैथोलॉजिकल पोएम है रोमांटिक पोएम है पेस्टोरल पोएम है एल जी है इकोलॉग है बैलेड है क्या है क्या है देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स सो वंस यू नो दीज वर्ड्स देन ओनली यू कैन एनालाइज कि ये मोनोलॉग है कि मैथोलॉजिकल है कि सुपर नेचुरल है अगर आपको आता ही नहीं होगा तो उस एरिया में आप सोच भी नहीं सकते सो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंस दैट इज वाई ऑलवेज से दैट इज स्टडी गुड अगर आप अच्छा पढ़ेंगे तो निश्चित रूप से आपकी आप, आप ही आ, आ, जो है उस लेवल पे परफॉर्मेंस कर पाएंगे So, ये एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट था स्टूडेंट्स जो मैंने आपको कवर किया है और जो बहुत डिटेल में क्लास में पढ़ाया जाएगा आई होप दैट दिस सेशन ऑफ द एनालिसिस ऑफ द पेपर वुड फाइंड यू इन ग्रेट होप इन ग्रेट यू नो हैप्पीनेस एंड दोज हु हैव नॉट बीन नो ओएसएन एकेडमी दे मे आल्सो फील हैप्पी दैट दे हैव फाउंड ओ एंड डॉक्टर अग्रवाल नाउ एंड आई रियली फील अ प्लेजर टू बी विद यू दिस एन आर सेशन where we have been very interactive and i hope that this finds you best with your preparation and for your uh, future examinations for the offline classes you may contact us for the online classes you may download the application and join your particular batches thank you so much the numbers are given there and have a nice day and have a good day